what does Prozac do to your brain? If you're taking Prozac, this is what Prozac does to your brain. In non-doctoral terms, I've taken Prozac before. It is an SSRI. This is how it affects your brain. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. What's up guys, my name is Eric. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist, I'm none of that. I'm diagnosed with ADHD, MDD, GAD, and PTSD. I have a level one autism, lost a wife and father to suicide. I attempted suicide. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. And I like to share from experiences because the more that we hear other people's experiences, the more that we don't feel alone. And we almost get kind of an understanding. We always don't get a guidebook that says, hey, this is what other people have encountered with these drugs. Prozac is a really common antidepressant. Prozac and Lexapro were two SSRIs that I was put on. I was also put on Zoloft, which is another SSRI. Now, these SSRIs, what they do is they affect your serotonin in your body. So they literally do not let your brain reabsorb serotonin the way that it typically does without them. Now, when it doesn't reabsorb the serotonin, that affects your mood. If you don't know what serotonin is, serotonin is a neurotransmitter in your brain. It affects your memory. It affects your reward sensory. It affects different processes even in your body, such as vomiting. That is what serotonin actually does. There's two really big chemicals in your brain, or they're not even chemicals in your brain, but they're neurotransmitters in your brain, serotonin and dopamine. Serotonin is one that these SSRIs, because it is a mood uh, stabilizer in a sense, it can change how you are. And how it changes how you are is it's supposed to actually make you happy. If you're not reabsorbing the, the serotonin, your brain, your body is supposed to be a little bit happier. And for a lot of people, it does work. And the reason that we don't understand sometimes why it doesn't work for us all is because all of us are a little bit different. I do these videos so that nobody feels alone because one of the big side effects to it is also suicidal thoughts. And it can result in that. It was actually an effect that it hit with me. The thing when it comes to how it affects your mood our moods are all differently and also the different medications and drugs that we take can affect it differently. SSRIs are really common also even if you don't struggle with depression where if you're ADHD they prescribe an SSRI with ADHD meds because drugs like Adderall for example have a dopamine drop so all of a sudden you get this wave of depression that hits. Well mood stabilizer because of your body not absorbing the serotonin back in is supposed to level that out and it's supposed to gradually go down. For some of us, it doesn't. For some of us, it doesn't. When our mood is shifted off, it can do different things where we can have very intrusive thoughts that come into play. Those intrusive thoughts can build up and build up and build up. Now, there are other side effects and stuff to these drugs, and a lot of times we don't realize what's going on and we don't notice it because the side effects to like SSRIs are there's nausea, there's dry mouth. A lot of these different symptoms, though, will wear off after a prolonged period of time. You're supposed to keep SSRIs in your system for about 30 days until you really start to notice the difference. With me though, the one thing I've always noticed of how my body is and how my brain is, is anything that affects my mood affects it in about seven days. And again, this is where it's so important to communicate with your doctor because you're taking something now that your brain is not reabsorbing serotonin and it's gonna possibly throw off your mood. You have to communicate with your doctor. And when you are communicating with your doctor, let them know because doctors will let you know, again, side effects are typically, they're going to wear off and they're going to fade away. That vomiting might go away. The upset stomach might go away. The dry mouth. Those are side effects that can go away. The worst one, though, that I've always found is, I mean, when you have the suicidal thoughts and you really get into the depressive state because it can have that backfire effect, it hits pretty hard and it hits pretty quick. And you've got to really explain and be upfront and firm with your doctor that you feel off, that you feel more depressed, that you feel sad. And a lot of times we don't understand why because Prozac is supposed to make you happy. Lexapro is supposed to make you happy. Zoloft, these are supposed to help with depression. Why isn't it helping me with depression? And a lot of times that mutes our voice from telling our doctor that we're actually more depressed because we don't know that other side to it. Anytime we affect anything that can change our mood, such as serotonin, it can change our mood for the negative, not always happy. So you have to remember that. Don't be afraid if the medication isn't working how you think it's going to work. That is the whole key of trial and error. You got to remember all of our bodies are different. If you want to find out how, a, how your, your body and how your brain is going to react to a certain med, you can do a gene uh, test that will actually let you know how you metabolize different drugs in your system. And it helps you through that trial and error a little bit. Trial and error, people don't realize, is dangerous. It's a battle. It sounds easy. Hey, trial and error. Try this med. See if it works. Try this. See if it works. Again, it's always see if it works, see what works for you. 
we don't always share that darker side of it, especially when you're affecting somebody's mood of the negative side. I mean, I can tell you this, SSRIs in my personal experience that I've had have been negative ones mostly. And I know so many people though that have had positive experiences with it. I got a little bit jealous because I'm like, why isn't this helping me? And I'm very upfront now, even with my psychiatrist and with my doctor of letting him know, hey, SSRIs typically have a backfire effect. And the thing is, is to share your examples with them. Prozac made me suicidal, Lexapro made me suicidal, Zoloft made me lethargic, it made me just bleh. Uh, I didn't want to move, I had no motivation, I had no energy, and it didn't go away. In fact, uh, Zoloft, because it didn't give me the suicidal thoughts, I did take it for 30 days, hoping that these side effects would eventually fade away. They didn't, and I had to take a firm stance with my doctor saying, I don't want to take this medication anymore, it is not benefiting me. Don't be afraid to communicate with your doctor. Yes, we trust them. We trust their opinion. We trust what they're doing for us. But also, because we're all different, if we don't communicate and let them know what's happening, we're never going to get better. And that's the thing is we'll take these meds and you might take one med and it doesn't work. And then you take another med and it doesn't work and you give up. And it's not about giving up. It's about finding what medication works for you. So don't let a lot of this, the side effects, the stigmas around medication stop you from. I'm very, very pro-meds. I've taken, Zol or I've taken Zoloft, I've taken Lexapro, I've taken Prozac, it didn't really work for me. Adderall is a lifesaver for me. Uh, Xanax helped me out through a lot of my tough times. I mean, there's a lot of different meds out there that have helped me, and there's other ones out there that have hurt me. And it's been vice versa for other people. Again, it is all trial and error. It does affect your serotonin. It affects your brain by changing the biggest mood stabilizer in your or neurotransmitter in your brain that affects your mood that it can raise your mood up and you can feel energetic, you can feel positive, you can feel happy versus somebody like myself where it gave me the reverse effect where it made me feel down, it made me feel depressed, it made me feel sad, it made me feel as a burden, it made me feel that I was better off not here. So make sure you communicate this. Anything that does change an effect with your brain can play a very big positive, it can play a very big negative, but no doctor's gonna know if you don't speak up. Just because something says it's an antidepressant and you're depressed, doesn't mean that it's it's not working correctly or you've got to wait it out. Some of these, our brain just won't accept them how other people's brains accept them, and that's okay. So don't ever forget that. I mean, I went through the trial and error gambit with medication, and some of them, I mean, it was a struggle with them. But when I told my doctor, hey, this isn't working, this is how I'm feeling, they got me off the meds, and we kept going forward. It, a lot of times we feel when we're trying meds, if we don't see progress or we feel progress or we don't feel it right away, we feel it's not working. That's not the case. You got to give it some time, but with certain side effects, you want to be very upfront and very direct of how that side effect is affecting you. Again, it's all communication with your doctor. It's all communication of how these meds are, are working. And don't be sad or, or, or afraid or anything or, or even shy or, or fearful to talk to your doctor. If you've been on the same med for a while and all of a sudden you start to notice a change. It's so important because our body chemistry is always changing and we can change of how these meds do affect us. I have tried these different drugs at different periods of time in my life. And you know what? I hope one day maybe one of them would work, but they haven't yet. Does it mean that I'm not ever going to try them again? I'm a little bit hesitant. But if a doctor said, hey, this is a new med out, it might affect your body a little bit differently. You know, I might give it a try. I am diagnosed with MDD, which is major depressive disorder. And it hits in very hard waves. When it does, when it's low, man, it's low. And so if I could find something that stabilizes that out, I'd be all for it. So even with my experience, I'm not afraid of meds because I do understand the benefit of them and I've had success with them. I mean, look at the different meds that you've taken and the success that they've given you. Mine is Adderall. Man, it's it's made me a functioning adult. My life is so much easier. I'm, I'm organized. I'm successful. It has helped me tremendously where some of these have hindered me, but I have to remember that, hey, some of these meds work, some of these meds don't work. Communication with your therapist, that's what it all comes down to. I mean, I'd love to hear your experience. I mean, there are lots of positive stories about Prozac. Comment down below, hit that like and subscribe button. I love to share a lot of my experiences because it helps nobody feel alone. And when we do feel alone, we feel that we're the only one. We start to shut down, we don't share. And sharing is key, especially when you're, you're going through a battle with depression, you're going through a battle with anxiety. Because the worst is once we start to isolate, isolate and feel alone, we stop communicating with everybody else. And when we stop communicating with everyone else is when it gets really dark. Remember that you matter. I mean, reach out for help if you're struggling. Don't be afraid to talk to your doctor. Don't be afraid to talk to your therapist. And the first step comes in just letting everybody know around you that you are struggling, that you do need help. 
because you know what? You're not attention seeking. You're none of that. You're fighting a battle. And I give you all the respect in the world for that. So don't give up.